now when we talk about numbers it all started from counting and when we begin numbers we start from natural numbers so when we talk about natural numbers we're talking about the way we count one two three four five and on and on so these are natural numbers now later on came the concept of positive numbers then came the concept of negative numbers of course first came negative number then we considered this to be positive numbers and then even after that came zero so negative numbers minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five and on and on then zero so all these three together so negative numbers then zero so all these three things together later came to be called as integers so the later came to be called as integers so natural numbers is also known as the positive integers and negative numbers are called as the negative integers and zero is an integer which is neutral so we call it a neutral integer it is neither positive nor negative neutral integer okay now it's helpful if you think about these integers like this this vertical mast where here we have zero the neutral integer and as you go up it is increasing so the natural numbers or the positive integers to be precise now 1 2 3 4 5 so the value is increasing as you go down the steps minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 the value is decreasing so that means minus 4 is a smaller number than minus 3 but on the other hand plus 4 is larger than plus 3 you have to understand how positive numbers and negative numbers work so if I say minus 10 it's a very small number because it is lower down below here but when I say minus 5 it is up above the minus 10 so it's a greater number so minus 5 is larger number than minus 10 but in positive numbers plus 10 is larger number than plus 5 so this is something that comes in handy if you visualize a vertical line so the first and the most important concept of numbers is natural numbers and then we have to talk about integers obviously when the concept of integers came so positive integers are the same as natural numbers so that came later on now as we are talking about integers we need to categorize integers so integers can be categorized as even integers and odd integers now usually when we refer to this we don't refer to it technically and we refer to them as even numbers and odd numbers now integer can be subdivided into even integers and odd integers so when anyone says even number they are actually referring to as integer so even integer means any integer that can be divided by 2 and we get another integer so even integer means when we divide by 2 we get an integer not a fraction or anything that means divisible by 2 this thing is same as saying divisible divisible by 2 that means you can divide it by 2 and you'll get an integer odd integer means not divisible by 2 so we can write some examples here so 2 can be divided by 2 we get 1 so that's an integer 4 can be divided by 2 2 to the 4 2 is an integer so all these things 2 4 6 8 10 these are even integers remember even 0 is an even integer because 0 divided by 2 is 0 and 0 is an integer so remember 0 is an even integer 
and the odd integers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and on and on so these are the odd integers now another and perhaps the most important category of integers are the prime integers this again is commonly referred to it as prime numbers but prime integer should be more accurately called so prime integer any integer more than 1 so prime number starts from t so it starts from 2 that cannot be divided by any number but but by itself and 1 so for something to be an a prime number a prime integer it should be divided by only two numbers by itself and by 1 remember 1 cannot be a prime integer because it has to be more than 1 so in other simpler terms a prime number or a prime integer is something that cannot be broken down so for example we have 2 then we have 4 can be broken down 2 to the 4 then we have 5 3 is also a prime number then we have 5 5 cannot be divided by anything 6 can be broken down 3 to the 6 7 8 can be broken down 4 to the 8 then we have 9 3 3 is a 9 then we have 10 5 to the 10 then 11 11 cannot be broken down by anything but itself and 1 then we have 12 is 6 to the 12 we have 13 14 is 7 to the 14 15 3 5 the 15 6 is 4 4 the 16 17 then we have 19 and so on so these are some examples of prime integers note that every integer is a is an odd number actually except for 2 2 is the only prime integer that is an even integer except for that everything else are odd and is obviously because if it's even it can be broken down and divided by 2 